I'm Robert McKenzie. Marquise Clemens. That's the Wednesdays. We're back. We're back. Yes, sir. We're going to jump right into one. All right. It could be one part or two part or three. I don't know yet. Hey. We no. gonna, we're going to talk about gerrymandering. Jerry. Gerrymandering. Some of you may have heard about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to break it down. Yeah. I All like right. it. I like it. We're going to try to do this from a, a bipartisan standpoint. Yeah. Okay. Because we're even going to be using uh, some stuff in history where the parties weren't even called the same thing. It's just a lot of different things. So... This is not a Republican or Democrat thing. This is just a political thing. Hey, we're educators. Yeah. So it's a very high level that we're going to be working on. Okay. I, I, I encourage people to do your own research. Yeah. As with anything. But we're going to start back. We're going to go back to school. All right. We're going to go back to elementary school. Okay. Uh, I like it. The three branches of government. The three branches. All right. Got the executive branch. Yes, sir. That's that's your president. Uh huh. All right. Mm-hmm. He's in charge of the nuclear codes. Yeah. All right. You got your judicial branch. Judicial. So you have the Supreme Court, mm-hmm. all right, with, with the old people. Mm-hmm. You got your, your federal judges, your local judges. So all those people, then one day they say, hey, you going to jail forever? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Then you have your legislative branch. Yeah. They're in charge of making those bills and those laws, laws and all of that stuff, right? Yeah. That's who we're going to focus on is the legislative branch. Yeah. So within the legislative branch, you have two bodies. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you have your senators, Senate. House of Representatives. Yeah. Okay. So back in 1787 at the uh, Constitutional Convention, they were like, "Hey, you know, we already we, we threw all this tea <laughs> off of the off of these off boats, the boat. right? Because you know we have any representation. Yeah. So now they're back talking about representation. Okay. All right. So the big states, they're like, "Hey, we have more people. Mm-hmm. We're bigger states. Mm-hmm. We should have more representation." Yeah. Smaller states are like, "Wait a minute." Uh, we're supposed to be equal, so how this going to work? Yeah. So they came up with a compromise. Mm-hmm. All right. So they came up with the Senate, mm-hmm. um, which is two senators that represent the entire state. Every state has two senators. Yeah. All right. So South Carolina, we got Lindsey Graham, and we have Tim Scott. Yeah. All right. Those, those are our senators mm-hmm. in charge of the state. Yeah. What they did for the smaller states was they had, oh, okay, let's look at the House of Representatives. So now you get representatives uh, according to the size. Mm -hmm. So if you are a smaller state, you get less representatives. If you're a large one, you get more. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was a way of helping everybody trying to get their representation in. All right. So the House of Representatives, these guys, they are in charge of districts. Okay. They're not in charge of the whole state. They have their own little district. Mm -hmm. So in South Carolina, we have seven districts. Six are Republican, one's Democrat. Mm-hmm. Right? I live in Greenville, so my uh, representative is William Timmons. Because yeah. I forgot the name for a second. Yeah, William Timmons. Timmons. Yeah, big guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He helped me out with my passport. Needed it real quick. He watched out for me. Yeah, I'll let you, boy, Timmy. So uh, one of the important things is not only are they in charge of your district and and things that happen within your your community. But they're also, they serve on committees. Yeah. So uh, they serve on committees for Congress as a whole. And so William Timmons, he's on the Financial Services Committee. And they're in charge of the financial service industry within the the U.S. So they're over the SEC, the Treasury, Federal Reserve. So these guys hold some power. Yeah, they got pool. Yeah, and and they're they're making a lot of big decisions. Mm -hmm. And so this is why it's important that we pay attention to these small district voting or votes. Yeah, this is why it's important that we do vote on those off years where we're not voting for president because these guys have a lot of pull and a lot of play when it comes to a lot of stuff that affects us quickly and now. Right, exactly. So these guys, they get voted in every two years. Mm -hmm. Um, Every even year, you're voting for your representatives. Kids, this is why you get to stay out of school every even year. Mm. Yeah. For election day. These guys, they have to be... Now, to be a representative, the minimum age is 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to be a, a U.S. citizen for at least seven years. Mm-hmm. And you have to be a resident um, of the state at the time of the election. So you can't just jump from state to state trying to become a representative in yeah. that area. The thing is, these guys can stay in office for a long time. Yeah. Long time. So South Carolina Strong Thurman, who we had, he was in office for 46 years. Yeah, I remember that dude was in office for a second. Yeah, like I remember being born, he was in office, and I was a grown man. Yeah, he was in office. He was in office longer than we've been alive. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Yeah, so it's it's important. Like these that's a guys, career. That that's a hustle. That's a hustle. That's a hustle. Man, all right, that's a very quick breakdown on the House of Representatives, the representatives themselves. They they're in charge of little districts. Yeah, that was a good overview. Yeah. So now we need to see why it was important. Why 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 is that so important? Uh, we we still ain't getting the gerrymandering yet. Dang. Okay. We got to go further back. Further back. We got to go to the Civil War. Here we go, people. All right. So the other night we had we had family uh, we had family game night, mm-hmm. and so we were playing uh, Scrabble. I accidentally ate a couple of the Scrabble tiles, swallowed some, and I'm just worried now because my next trip to the bathroom could spell disaster. You get it? Spell disaster. Scrabble. Yeah, yeah I get it, man. <laughs> Got him. That's pretty good. I like that. One. <laughs> we out. <laughs>